Hey everyone, welcome back to Fine Kino. As you can see here, I'm at a Baccarat table. So, we're going to be playing a new shoe soon. So, if you're new to Baccarat, I will explain how the game goes. So, basically, you bet player banker. It's almost like a head tails kind of game. It's easy to play. Um, I'll explain as the rules as the uh, game goes along. But the best hand you can have is a nine. So basically it's like blackjack. You total up the cards and whatever the last number is. So if it's 13, it's basically three. If you got 30, it's zero. So that's how the scoring works. So the best hand you can have is a nine. So, uh, so I'm going to try to play the whole shoe here. As you can see, my balance is 514. So uh, I'm going to mute, so uh, no distractions here. So uh, I'm going to see what the first hand is. I'm going to sit out one. So shout out to the... Uh, the private inner group. Uh, I'm in a uh, private inner group for uh, gaming, change your life kind of stuff. So I've been learning a lot being in that group. So uh, shout out to you guys. All right, so the player has seven, or sorry, has two, and just now made it eight. So, uh, Player one, eight over six. So I'm gonna write that down. I like to set a couple hands to see what it's gonna do. And the thing about this game here, it's like you have eight seconds to act to get your bets in. So yeah, you gotta be on uh you gotta be on your toes here. They sit out too long. It's going to give you a warning. All right. So that's a natural nine. So total of nine, the game's already over. So a natural eight or nine, there's no drawing cards. It's uh. So let's, uh, let's get on player here. See if it goes on a chop. Goes back and forth. Right now, I'm just playing dollar units. My goal is to win 10 units. I know $10 is not enough, but it all adds up in time. All right. All right, it's a tie of 4-4. Four, four, so if the, car, the third card is a 2 through 6, I'm going to draw. All right, so we won that hand. So it looks like it's going on a chop, which is good. So I'm going to go to Banker. See how it's going back and forth up here? This is what we're looking at. Player, banker, player. So hopefully a banker will come. All right, so uh, it's one over four, so a zero, uh, there we go, we need a zero, there we go, aces do, so uh, Banker wins four over two, nice. So we're just playing a chop, so we're going back and forth just like the game is going. So I started with uh, 514, so my goal is to get to 524. So if I can do $10 a session, maybe five sessions, that's $50. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, hopefully, in the future, <laughs> I'll be playing ten dollars, and I'll be trying to make five hundred a day. <laughs> that's pretty strong money there. So we got zero over one so far, and we need some help. We can't win. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> got lucky there. Zero over zero. It's a tie. So all right, we're just going to rebet. All right, 
so it's uh, four over five so far. Another tie. Wow. Two ties in a row. That happens sometimes. All right, rebet. So half of the players are on banker and the other rest of us are on player. Good card. Let's put a 10 out there. All right, we got six. Zero, all right. So bankers want to take one card. There we go. We got to win. Nice. Just playing the chop. Just do what we're doing. We got a chain going on. Ooh, natural nine. We need help. Uh, nine over eight. Wow. So let's uh, let's just stay right there, just in case it wants to come back. We'll go up to three dollars here. If a player wins here, we'll jump on the player. Nope. Player one on natural eight. All right, we're going to seven on player. So we get a little streak going on here. Four. A zero will be great here. Ten card. Zero. Nope. That hurts. That hurt. All right. So, uh, let's go to 16 here. Let's have a uh, back to back here. So we can just follow the winner here. That's good. We need a zero on our side. Zero would be great. There we go. We got a natural eight. We got a winner. So you can see my balance here at 521. Good. Now we start over back to a dollar. To a dollar. So right now I'm just practicing to win 10 units a session. And I work my way up where I can do $2 and I'll try to win $20 a session. Work my way up to 50 a session. My way up to 100 someday. 100 a session would be great. All right, so it's one over zero so far. Both, both will take a card. All right, it's gone to five. Need some help here? Nope, five over one. That's all right. I'm just going to follow the player. Follow the winner here. It's a good card. I don't mind taking a zero here. Nice. All right. Banker will take a card. Hope it's low. There we go. Nice. So 
I'm at 523. I just need to win one more. Be a winning session. Let's uh, see a player win it here. Usually when it comes to a box up here, usually it goes usually it goes to a banker here. But I'm just going to play the just going to play the uh, winner. Whatever one last stay on it. There we go. Good card. Zero. No, six. No, natural nine. See, it normally with a box like this, it usually goes to a uh, banker. All right. Let's see if uh, it starts boxing up two, two, two. It's a tie. Six over six. So how the rules go is uh, the player is pretty simple. It draws a card zero through five, and it stands six through six through nine. So eight and nine, uh, it's all magic natural for uh, both sides. Now the banker does the same thing unless the player takes a third card. Then that's where it gets a little. Tricky. It's where the banker has a slight edge. I didn't rebet. That's fine. One over two. Yep, I missed it. I think. Yeah, I missed it. I was supposed to be on bank. All right, I just hope it chops like this, start boxing. So, uh, let's go to four. Just play the trend. When you miss a hand like that, sometimes they can get you in trouble. Six, me some help. Yeah. Yep, should have stayed on the winner. All right, let's go to ten. Some help. Both will take a card. Nope. <coughs> All right, back to player. All right, just going to follow the winner. It gets a little risky. Let me start going through progression. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew. Woo! A little scary. So uh, now I'm at 5.28. So I made uh, 14 dollars a session. That's that's awesome. looking up here I mean you can play you know here I'm just gonna sit out one you don't have to play every hand that's what's so great All 
uh, 5 over 4. All right. So usually a box up like this, an extended box, it usually goes to a uh, banker here, but you never know. It can just, player can just streak, you know, when multiple in a row. I'm predicting a uh, banker here, but we'll see. Seven. Zero. Need help. Yep, that's some, that's some help. And banker wins. See, when you usually box up like this, you usually goes back to uh, see none of them has gone three mo more than three in a row. So you, yeah, just pay attention to what's going on here. So it's a uh, whoa, sh whoops, wrong wrong bet. All right, let's do a dollar on a uh, banker. Zero over one, so so far, a zero card would be great for the player. Need some help, and didn't get it. There's a sign of a chop, maybe. So hopefully it, it might come back to banker. But you could play player here too. So a lot of us are on banker here. Could start going on a, on a chop here. If it draws a zero or a one, it's going to be a, a tie. Oh, they drew an eight, so we won. Nice. All right, I want to set out one. See if it's going to what it's going to do here. Sometimes banker comes back at this spot here. It could go on a you know like a chain, but a lot of times when it after some streaks right here. It, it you, it can go either way. So I just want to see what it does. Okay, it's going to it's going to chain. All right, let's follow the follow the chain. Let's do a banker here. Got a two and a five, looking good. We'll take a a zero or one over there on the player, and we got a win. Nice. So it bounces at five thirty. So we made sixteen so far. All right, let's keep it going. Normally I would stop right now, but I'm doing a video for you guys. Normally, I get my money and run. I'll quit my session, which is the smart way to play. All right, a little help here. And you go. An eight will work because uh, with player with a bank have three, when it draws an eight, it stands. So uh, since it's not an eight here, so banker will draw a card, and we have a winner. Got another win. Just follow the chop.
and we have a tie. All right. I'm writing these down. So, uh, what banker here? It just started chopping like crazy. All right, we got a new dealer. Let's just uh, rebet and see if it goes back to the banker. All right, four and a two. So uh, each hand will take a card. All right, a little reduce. We need a little help here. Nope. So uh, we want to set out one. Normally, it goes banker here, and when it goes uh, when a streak breaks, it usually goes back to what it, what it was doing. It's either streak or going a chain chop. So. I'm predicting banker here, but we'll see. We have seven, four. A oh, little technical issue. <laughs> banker four. Thank you, thank you. Ah, there we go. Thank you, thank you, So I did go back to uh, banker. I was going to play a dollar here. I already got my winnings, so there's no need to go through the Martingale progression. Alright, five and three. Seven, that's I like it. Zero. That's fine too. Nope. Nine. Ah. Nope. Came back and got us. Alright, it's going to a box here. Usually goes back to a uh, player. Let's, let's put a dollar on player. So far, I want, I've lost two in a row. So it gets a little tricky because it it's thinking about streaking, you know, going a a streak here. But let's see what happens here. We got a zero and a six. Yeah, I lost that one. That's all right. I like to keep my bet small because you you never know what what it's thinking about doing. All right, three in a row. Let's go ahead and play the streak here. Everybody's on. Uh, everybody's playing banker except this person. He's like, ah, uh, gonna play it safe on the other side. All right, we got. We're in a good shape. We just need a. Something small over there. There we go. Back on the winning side. So we're just going to continue playing the the streak here. I like seven. Usually you win at that spot. There we go. Win two in a row. All right. 
All right, Banks has won uh, five in a row, so that's good. Let's keep it going. Now people are starting to play uh, player because it's usually it's due to go back to the other side. There's different ways to play this. All right, two, two. Both hands will take a card. All right, that's good. We can't lose unless we draw a nine. Nice. I don't mind playing that nickel pop as long as I uh, winning. <laughs> and we have a cleaning crew coming. I like it. So we're uh, looking for a small card here. There we go. Well, that was a big card, but it still helped. <laughs> nice. Is that seven in a row? Yeah, nice. Yeah, in this game, you just play the trend. You know, for streaking, chopping, all that stuff. Normally, I mean, I, I should be playing more, but, you know, doing a video, I like to keep things small. I don't want to be, you know, distracted, and I like to concentrate when I play. Nice. Got a natural nine there. All right, let's, uh, let's go to two. That's a, way to, that's a way to break the streak is raise your bet. <laughs> but, hey. Got to be positive. Keep it going. All right, four and nine. Nice. This is amazing. It's nice to be on it when it's doing that. Right, let's do another two bucks. four and a five a zero will be a winner for the bank and a zero that's amazing ten in a row that happens. All right, six. Six is pretty decent. Now, the third card's a six or a seven, it'll, it'll draw, but it's not nice. We got another win. That is 11 in a row. Amazing. Oops. <laughs> that's not a third card. 
All right, five over two. Need some help here. All right, five over four. Finally, the player took that. Now, normally, when a streak breaks, usually it goes right back. So it's, it's, we want to stay on the banker here. Banker's pretty hot. Mm. All right, card to both. A five for the player would be great. There it is. We can, you know, we can't lose. And we have a tie. I don't know if that means that's a sign. <laughs> but uh hey, I'm I'm pretty happy. So I made uh twenty one dollars in this session, which is awesome. You know, set out one, see what it does. Nice. Yep, went back to Banker. Four, all right, six. We need a small card over there. No six, you know, six or seven would be great. There we go. Reduce that a little bit. Now, Banker has to take a card. There you go. Yeah, six or seven, six or take a card. Any other card, it would stand. All right, I don't want to keep the video too long. So, uh, yeah, I made uh, $22 profit. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Shout out to the, uh, the club. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, thanks, guys.